This is one of the oldest cities in this nation. This community has given up tremendously because there were less of them alive to procreate. This is a window to our future. The enemy is trying to steal, kill, and destroy. He's trying to kill off generations of people that came before us, especially kill off generations of people that know God. We're fighting for these people in the spiritual realm and the supernatural realm because that pours out then into the physical realm, into the natural. <laughs> Thursday, September 5th, 2024, 10, 10 in the morning. Welcome to the Fourth Watch. Welcome to a memorial to the past and a look at the future. We're in Bristol, Rhode Island at a war memorial. And I encourage each of you, all of you, to make time to go out and to stroll the gardens, the monuments, the places. Arlington, the Vietnam Memorial, DC. Just read the names. These are real people. These are real sons. And as you get into the future, wars, daughters. But we do this to take stock of what's on deck for us because, you know, we think that none of this is coming to our doorstep. And the reason why these things are here is not just honor those that fell, but also to speak to the future. War has a very real tangible cost. And then what you do is you love your family that much harder. I'm going to read just two names, two families. I'm going to show them on the wall. From World War I, World War II, Korea, Vietnam, the Gulf Wars, GWAT. Here's an example. How about the Almeida? Interesting name. All right, people here, go down. You can find another name. Six out. Cabral. Three Almeidas in World War I turns into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fifteen Almeidas in World War II. Cabrals. So over here, we had Regina. Now over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, thirty years between World War One, World War Two. Almeida's and Cabral is just one name to go forward. Look how few casualties turns into many. And then you keep going forward. See all these names for this one area. And then what happens? Korean War. One, two, three, four, five, six Almeidas. One, two, three, Cabrals. You see what happened in World War Two? More of them died, KIA. And you come here and there's less available for this war. And then you go to the Vietnam War. Almeidas. One, two, three, four, five. Five, six Cabrals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then you say, how much should a family have to give up? How much is it worth for us to keep sending family members from a place of my father served, my grandfather served, my grandfather served. World War II, bomber pilot, prisoner of war, ten and a half months, two death marches in the snow. He survives and what became his deathbed told me, he made me swear, never join the military or police, never fight another man's battle that you don't have a say in. My grandfather was more like a father to me, so I took it to heart. Because you go forward here, miscellaneous conflicts, Korea, yet a few more Cabrals, Vietnam, at another Almeida, two of them. Afghanistan and Iraq, there are no Almeidas, except for one right there. You have one Almeida and you have one Cabral. How many people, sons, daughters, need to be sacrificed? See, going back 110 years, World War I starts off, and we still think it's just a normal course of action, right? Nations, empires, wars, kingdoms, rulers, wars. But these things serve as a reality that all these wars and battles lead up and culminate into one major war and battle between good and evil. Biblically speaking, which is our narrative, you look at things through the lens of the Bible. All this was a buildup wars and rumors of wars but to build up and that narrative has real casualties real sons real daughters i just implore you please go out walk these memorials soak it in and realize that we're not fighting for a nation we're fighting for the people in our community especially those that still have yet to meet christ and accept him as lord we're fighting for these people in the spiritual realm and the supernatural realm because that pours out then into the physical realm into the natural see when we talk about spiritual warfare we don't talk about it flippantly acutely naively like it's not real and tangible because these are just people that were kia these are the ones that actually died most likely in combat and then there's the injured that come back and their lives are never the same everything from ptsd tbi you name it and people push through but while their physical bodies are broken down the enemy also comes in and kills their spirit kills their soul kills the family kills off generations separates generations severs fatherhood motherhood separates children from knowing their father and growing up having that covering what happened before part of a great culmination of building up into what's coming. I pray you do not take this time for granted. This is one of the oldest cities in this nation. This community has given up tremendously to the Almeidas, to the Cabrals, and the other families that were here where their names on that wall dwindled, either because they moved away or because there were less of them alive to procreate. This is a window to our future. If you don't see that, I don't know what to tell you. The enemy is trying to steal, kill, and destroy. He's trying to kill off generations of people that came before us, especially kill off generations of people that know God. He's trying to subjugate, trying to apply tyranny through human puppets and it's working. And the Bible tells us it's supposed to work. Praise God for this day. Praise God for the family and the friends and community that you have. I pray that you press into Jesus, you accept him as Lord and Savior, and that you pray for everyone while there's still time because tomorrow is not promised and the future wars are already here. They're bringing it to our doorstep. This place is not ready. Most places are not ready. But I pray you, the God-fearing Christian, are ready and already engaged. That's it. God bless. God's speed. Get in the word. Get in the fight. See you.